Hello. In this episode from The Good Speller, I'm going to be talking about Ecuador. Recently, in December 2010, I don't know if that's going to be recent from when you're watching this, but recently from when I'm recording it, at least. Uh, I went to Ecuador, and I, some of the things I wanted to share. First of all, there's certain things that one should know before they even leave certain things they should do. Um, probably the most important thing to do before you leave is to uh, either get medical insurance, hopefully you have that already, but if you, or if you don't, <laughs> either way, go to your doctor and get certain vaccines. You're going to want to get a hepatitis vaccine. They, it's a fairly common disease down there. It's, get it from contaminated food and water, and you don't want it. <laughs> so if you could get a vaccine, even if you don't have insurance, just pay for it here, and you might save yourself a lot of suffering. <laughs> uh, there's other diseases that Americans and Western society might not be used to either such as a uh, yellow fever, it's a virus transmitted by mosquitoes, and they do have it in Ecuador, and you don't want that. You want that even less than you want hepatitis. Um, basically, uh, yellow fever often makes the victim turn yellow and die. Uh, it's again transmitted by mosquito, but thankfully there is a virus, um, uh, vaccine, so it would be worth it to go to your doctor and get the <clears throat> yellow fever vaccine. And so there's that. Uh, ask your doctor about other vaccines you might want to get before you go to Ecuador. Uh, and also, you could take uh, ask for anti-malarial medicines, but those have their own problems. A lot of people have problems with depression after taking uh, anti-malarial medicines, also really extreme uh, nightmares, stuff like that. So you might not want to take the anti-malarial medicines unless you're going to a part of Ecuador that actually is um, highly infected with malaria. Just something to keep in mind. Anyway, once you're down there, uh, certain things you basically just have to fend for yourself. I think maybe at least where I'm from in California, <laughs> we uh, assume that cars are going to stop if we like step out into the street. It's definitely not the case in Ecuador. <laughs> they will hit you. You will be uh, injured or killed. So definitely always have your senses about you <laughs> when you're in Ecuador and try and whether you're crossing the street or on the sidewalk, be aware of your surroundings. Obviously, it's good advice no matter where you are. Um, in terms of traveling, it's best probably if you know somebody there, but if you don't, uh, there have been troubles recently with buses being hijacked, and it makes it a little... I don't think any of the buses... Um, ensure that they won't get hijacked, but if you go by a mainstream bus, uh, a large bus company, I'd say there's a lot less chance of that happening. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Go with major discreet buses, not fancy taxis or um, particularly nice looking buses. Um, what else? Maybe I'll add more into uh, part two of this video. It's already getting a little long. I know people in general like short YouTube videos, <laughs> short attention spans. I could relate. So tune in for a second edition of Traveling in Ecuador. Thanks.